From its inception, Fifty Shades of Grey has been a shameless piece of entertainment. Author E.L. James gleefully admitted that her sordid story began as Twilight fan fiction, and while typos and bad grammar are usually the signs of a rank amateur, she spun them into the image of a charming novice. In fact, E.L. James has been so frank about her love of sex, or more accurately reading about sex, that she managed to do the impossible. She made porn penetrate the mainstream. We have yet to see if Fifty Shades of Grey was merely a literary flirtation or will become a steamy franchise affair, but she's found a shameless equal in director Sam Taylor Johnson. Taylor Johnson is one of those artists made famous by how she promotes her art rather than the art itself, such as recreating this iconic John Lennon and Yoko Ono portrait, a video portrait of David Beckham sleeping, and a series of photographs of Hollywood's leading men crying. She also made a short erotica piece featuring a man masturbating in the desert and the sexually graphic short film Love You More, which was nominated for the Palme d'Or at Cannes. And of course, she made her biggest headlines when she married the star of her first feature film Nowhere Boy, Erin Johnson, aka Kickass, 23 years her junior. And now that she's officially on board as the director of Fifty Shades of Grey, she's taking the film's profile to not just the next level, but to an unseen level for such a film. How's she doing it? by hitching a ride in the coattails of the current comic book movie phenomenon. In a ballsy move, Fifty Shades of Grey is now set to open opposite Marvel's own gamble, Guardians of the Galaxy, on August 1, 2014. Sure, Universal and Focus features can innocently argue counter-programming, but by opening such a racy film opposite a Marvel Studios flick, this ensures that every time someone brings up Guardians of the Galaxy, they'll also bring up Fifty Shades of Grey. Furthermore, Fifty Shades of Grey has sparked a rumor that they will announce their cast at this year's Comic-Con, a convention Twilight surprisingly dominated for years, much to the annoyance of many a fanboy. Is Fifty Shades of Grey a genuine threat to Guardians of the Galaxy? To be fair, Guardians isn't completely defenseless. That flick has its own controversial director, Tromus James Gunn, who also had a short-lived web show called James Gunn's PG Porn on Spike.com. He also made headlines a few months ago when his controversial The 50 Superheroes You'd Most Want to Have Sex With list resurfaced. Deemed sexist and homophobic, it almost cost him his Marvel gig. Plus, Zoe Saldana plays green-skinned assassin Gamora, while Doctor Who's Karen Gillan is rumored to play Warrior Without Pants from Heaven, Angela. Furthermore, at least based on the relaunched comic, leading man Peter Quill, who will be played by Chris Pratt in the movie, has been reimagined as a Lothario to rival Tony Stark. And I hear this guy has quite the potty mouth. But still, is all that enough to lure audiences away from the first mainstream depiction of BDSM? Perhaps people will buy a ticket for Guardians of the Galaxy and then sneak into the potentially NC-17 rated Fifty Shades of Grey, or be too embarrassed to go see it in theaters at all. Well, Universal and Focus features are way ahead of you. There's another rumor circulating that they will release Fifty Shades of Grey as a premium video on demand release the same day it hits theaters, so you can watch it as privately as you read it for what will be likely a hefty price. That's potentially the best use of video on demand to date and could be a game changer for the medium as well as for mainstream porn and Marvel Studios. So what do you think? Are James and Taylor Johnson shameless, shrewd, or both? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.